This is a Pico mic. It's a tiny omnidirectional digital microphone that's half the size of a pack of gum. The best part is, is that this is a dual mic system, but is one of the smallest mics in the world. Does it sound any good? I don't know. You tell me. Hey guys, it's me, Mike. Welcome back to Unbox Warehouse. Now, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. I love each and every one of you. Also, if you have any questions about this video or any of my other videos, just leave a comment below and um, I try to answer every single one of them. I love answering your comments. But on to today's product. In this case is one of my new favorite things. This is Pico Gears Pico Stream and Pico Mics. Now, the name's a little bit confusing because the receiver itself is called a Pico Stream and the mics are Pico Mics. So I'm gonna refer to this thing for the rest of the video as Pico Mic, but it's a whole system. And here it is, the entire wireless lavalier system is all contained in this little box. Um, your microphones are right here. Um, this mounts with a hot shoe right on top of your camera. But I'm so glad to finally have my hands on this. I waited for months because they were sold out on their website, which is the only place I can find that you can buy them. You can't get them on Amazon. You can't get them anywhere but on Pico Gears website. I'll make sure I leave a link below so you guys can get one. They are available right now. They're a little bit pricey at 450 bucks, but it's well worth it. This has solved all my microphone woes. I have other lavalier mics and I will not be using any of them now that I have the Pico mic. Now right now you do have some similar options for products like this, like you have the Rode Wireless Go, but personally I haven't bought it because that thing looks hideous. It's a big old square you clip on. It says road really big on it. They're really proud of their name, which they should be. It's a great product, but I don't want to display it on my microphone when I'm trying to be discreet. Um, what if you're doing a wedding? You can't clip a road wireless go on the bride and her dress with that big thing. She's not going to go for that. That's why this system is truly amazing. These things are so inconspicuous. They're so tiny. And most of the receiver actually goes behind your shirt. I'll show you that in a second. But before we dive too deep into what I love about the Pico mic system, let's talk about some specs. The Pico mic is a fully digital dual mic lavalier system that can record at 24 bits at 48 kilohertz with an unbelievable 20 hour battery life when you're using it uh, less than 10 meters away from the receiver. It has a max range of around 500 feet, and from everything I've seen, it seems to stay connected way better than the Rode Wireless Go. It outputs audio using a 3.5 millimeter audio jack that can auto detect whether you're using a TRS cable or a TRRS cable. The receiver also acts as its own charging station with magnetic docks that auto connect when a mic is removed. The wireless lavaliers are omnidirectional with an ultra flat frequency response with audio latency less than one frame at 60 frames a second. Now the user experience from the first time I turned this on has been nothing but superb. Setup was super simple. Matter of fact, you go to the setup and it had my camera in the settings. So I just went to Sony a7 III and loaded it and it said, the camera mic level must be set to one. So not only does it set its settings to be ideal for the Sony a7 III, but it also told me what settings in the camera I need to change right on the screen. I never even had to go get a manual and it sounds unbelievable. I have to do no post-processing. All the levels are flawless. Once I had it set up and hooked up to my camera, I just popped off one of these mics, clip it on my shirt and bam, I was good to go. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to get this Pico mic dual system is because of the two microphones, because when I go to CES, I want to be able to clip on a mic onto someone when I'm doing a quick impromptu interview. And this is just the perfect setup for that. And let me just show you real quick. When you put that thing on, you can barely see it. Only, the whole receiver kind of goes behind your shirt and only the clip is what's sticking out. And the microphone is built in to the clip. It's a fully digital microphone built into the clip. I can't even get over how amazing this is. All right, so since I pretty much got this just to do interviews, I set up an impromptu interview with my four-year-old uh, to show you how easy it is to use these mics. You can even mic up a four-year-old with no effort. Here's how that went. 
Okay, we're gonna get you all mic'd up here, okay, before the set. This is a special microphone um, to record your audio, and we're just gonna ask you some questions. Uh, do you miss doing Toy Review Tuesdays? You, do, you don't wanna do, what was your favorite toy that we reviewed? Um, um, the Gumbies and the Giant and, and, the giant ball, the moon ball? Yes. Oh, that was a good one. You like the grumblies? What do you like about grumblies? Um, they, f they farted. <laughs> they fart, that is right, they do, they fart a lot. Um, now, are you aware of why we don't do Tour Review Tuesday anymore? Because of COPPA. The FTC made rules where I don't want to do toy reviews anymore because I don't want to get a big fine from the federal government. That's bad, right? Yeah, bad. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you for your time today, Mr. Barron, and uh, we appreciate you. And what are you gonna do the rest of the day? Um, I'm going, I'm going to watch my favorite movie. Oh, you're gonna watch your favorite movie? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, you have a great day, and we'll see you later. Let me get this microphone off of you. Now, am I free? <laughs> yes, you're free. Yay! I can have candy. <laughs> Okay, we're about to do a distance test. They claim a max about 500 feet, 150 meters. So I'm gonna go 500 feet that way and start the recording and head this way and see when you guys actually pick me up. All right, see you at 500 feet. Okay, <laughs> there is 500 feet. I can't even see the camera down there. I'm literally like three blocks away from the camera. This is, there's no way you guys are hearing me right now. If you are, uh, super impressive, but we'll see where it picks me up. Uh, I'll start counting back in 50 foot increments. So there's 500 feet, 450 feet right here. There's 400 feet, 350 feet right there. That's 350 feet. There is 300 feet to go. 250, 250 feet to go back to the camera. There's 200 feet to go. Obviously the battery life is gonna go down the further away it has to transmit. I think the transmitter actually knows how far it is away and it, and it boosts more power. So there's 150 feet away and it puts more power to the transmitter. That's why the battery won't last as long. But if you're under 10 meters, it'll last 20 hours. Okay, there's 100 feet left. All right, 50 feet left. That is the audio test with the mic facing the receiver. So that's ideal conditions. There is some power lines here that are running around, but now I'll walk the other way and see when it starts um, getting sketchy whenever the signal has to go through my body when it's blocked. So here we go. Right now we're at 15 feet, 30 feet. There's 30 feet right there. I feel like I should do like auctioneer stuff. 50 feet, hey, can I get a 50, 50, 50? Uh, 60, I don't want you guys to stop hearing me. 70, 80, 90, 100 feet. There's 100 feet with my back to the thing. There you go. That is the distance test. Let's go in and check the results, shall we? Holy crap, uh, that thing was crystal clear at 500 feet. I did not expect that. How? This tiny little transmitter can send a signal that far is just unbelievable. Um, now, when I was going the other way and the signal had to go through me, it made it about 70 feet and it started sounding kind of choppy, but that's a weird situation. Normally, you're going to be facing the camera. Uh, I would say that distance test is a success with flying colors. Um, now, let's try a little wind test. All right, here we are on the electric unicycle. I love this thing. If you don't have one, I suggest getting one. Super fun, great way to get around. Um, now, I have the Pico mic on, and it is a little windy, but I think I'm going with the wind right now. So I'm gonna turn around and go the other way and get kind of an extreme test um, into the wind. So let's get turned around here. Woo! Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel like Michael Jackson. Oh, it's super windy. There's no way that this Pico mic is not getting some clipping or some wind pops right now. This wind is strong. It's, 
Okay, but I have an idea. Uh, let me show you a way I figured out how to wear the Pico mic that kind of acts as a dead cat, but it doesn't look as silly. Let me show you, hold on one second. <laughs> All right, look at that. You can't even see it, can you? Guess what? Look at that, I have it clipped on the inside, so the fabric of my shirt is kind of acting like a little dead cat over the microphone hole. So I'm gonna go into the wind, extreme test here, and see if wearing it this way helps, because if it does and it still sounds good, oh yeah, windy. Look, it's flipping, jacket's flipping. You can't even see the microphone, how do I sound? This is for all you boosted board or electric skateboard people out there. This might be the perfect microphone for you guys. All right, I'm sold. Uh, this thing is crazy. Even with the wind blowing directly into here while I was riding the unicycle, it wasn't even that bad. I could hear myself fine. There was some, some wind pops, but it was minimal. And when I put it under my shirt, um, where that hole was covered up by the little flange of my shirt here, it, you couldn't hear almost any wind at all. It sounded crystal clear. So wind test is a thumbs up. That worked great. Next, we're gonna try it in some noisy environments. So I'm gonna take this thing out to a busy road. Um, unfortunately, I did forget my ND filter when I went and filmed this next clip. So it's way overexposed. Sorry about that, but good thing we're not reviewing cameras, we're reviewing microphones. You can see how it sounds. Okay, here is worst case scenario. We're out here, it's windy, there's gust of wind coming, and there's a whole lot of traffic coming. This is like at least an eight lane road here with, yeah, very loud. So this is by far the worst case scenario you could possibly put this Pico mic into. Um, other than like a crowded area like in CES, I can't wait to try it out there this year. Um, it's gonna be amazing, but that's how it sounds windy next to a bunch of traffic still sounds pretty good this thing is very impressive matter of fact there's a, a guitar store here i think i'm going to go in there and try to get some audio of someone playing the guitar real quick that would be fun let's go give that a shot Okay, the Pico mic system has totally impressed me. Uh, I'm a little confused of why more YouTubers aren't using this thing. It's unbelievable. Everybody is all up on the Rode Wireless Go, but this is way better. You got two mics, they're smaller, it looks better, it transmits farther, it stays connected better. You got many reasons why I think this is a better system than the Rode Wireless Go. Um, they just have the name. So if you're a YouTuber, think about getting this. This thing is great. So the Pico Gear has a real winner on its hands with the Pico Mic. From its bright LCD screen that provides useful information to the magnetic docking stations for the mics. I'm having trouble finding anything to improve on. From busy roads, multi-mic interviews, and even some beautiful musical instruments, the Pico was able to hold its own. Considering this is the first and only product from Pico Gear, this company is gonna make a name for themselves as soon as people discover how great the Pico mic really is. All right guys, that's the Pico mic dual wireless lavalier kit. Uh, truly impressed. I don't know what else to say. It, it was amazing in every single test I put this thing through. If you guys wanna see more, check out one of these videos right here. We do a lot of cool products, so please consider subscribing if you're not already. Thanks for watching and have a great day.